Sepsis is an infection that becomes mobile throughout your body due to its being transported throughout your bloodstream. And because your network of blood vessels goes over your entire body, that means that any place touched by one of those blood vessels is at risk for developing an infection. Sepsis is the body's extreme response to an infection. It happens when an infection you already have in your body triggers a chain reaction. Without timely treatment, sepsis can cause tissue damage, organ failure, and even death. In one year, sepsis will kill more people than breast cancer, prostate cancer, and HIV AIDS combined. Early detection and treatment of sepsis is key, and that is why researchers in the U.S. work to develop a quick and effective way to determine the potential for sepsis in patients. Their work resulted in identifying a marker for sepsis on white blood cells. The marker is always present. Because this white blood cell is found in the blood of all human beings, the marker will always be there. The key is it has to reach a certain threshold to be considered positive. It's that spike above normal that we're looking for. The early sepsis indicator is tested through a CBC or complete blood count. Sarah Bush Lincoln is one of the first labs in the area to perform this type of test. The beauty of what we're doing involves the fact that number one, it's quick, number two, it's easy to interpret, and number three, it's reliable. We adapted our current methodology to include the specific marker for sepsis. So currently the FDA has cleared this marker for use in patients who are in our emergency room and are between the ages of 18 and 89 years. Almost 22 years ago to today, my father died of septic shock, and that was a life-shattering experience for me and my family. So in my professional capacity as the hematology specialist, I felt that if there was technology out there that could save someone else's father, someone else's daughter, someone else's loved one, then we need to do it.